So whilst I was looting Camp McCarran, uh, Victor showed up. Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. Yep. But this is getting a mighty embarrassing. People are gonna start to talk. <laughs> Fancy Pants? No, I ain't seen hiding a hair of him since the tussle in Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living in New Vegas, though. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. I have a feeling he's been following me ever since Boulder City. And it's only now that he's caught up to me. I don't know. Either way, I also installed uh, two new mods. One fixes some perks, and the other is uh, a thing that makes it so that the game no longer has an orange tint. I did opt for the version of it that keeps knights having a kind of bluish tint, but that's just because I, I like how it looks. Um, so yeah, there's still a bunch of Camp McCarran left to loot. I'll be back in just a second when I have finished that. So it took me almost two hours to fully loot Camp McCarran, but it has been done. And I even bothered to pick up all of the crappy little cigarettes and bottle caps that are just lying around in that place. So for now, we're just going to continue on north towards the objective marker I set. Because there is a location there that I really want to get to. And once I get there, and I buy the thing that I want to get from that location or the things, rather. Then we can go back to McCarran and do a bunch of the stuff there. Balls of Vegas. Alright, so we're not too far from it, I don't believe. Check. Oh yeah, no, we're not that far. We'll get there shortly enough. Fence is kind of crap. Doesn't do too good of a job. That's a-okay. Any in this house? No? Cool. Nothing there either. Ah, here is a location that I really wanted to get to. Welcome to the Gunrunners, which is a place that has several uses. One, it has a companion dismissal terminal, so if you ever lose your companions and you don't know where you left them, you can't find them, you can come to this thing, and you'll boot your companions out. I don't know what Eddie's doing. Also, Welcome, sir or madam. there is a little shop here. Something. I am ready to process our transaction. And they usually have some really solid stuff. Like <gasps> an anti-material rifle. Ooh. That that's the goodness. That's the hot stuff. Uh let's see, what else do they have? Hmm. Seems like that's about it in terms of the really neat stuff. But they've also got a ton of different armor, which is all usually pretty good. And then, you've also got the weapon mods. The scope. Oh, baby, the scope. It's here. I'll be able to aim with it. I'll just have to uh, head back to the old house and grab some stuff to sell, because I don't want to give up caps for any of this stuff. They've only got 4,000 caps right now. Usually they have... Oh, don't give them that. That is a no-no. I want that one to glue back. Usually they have like 8,000 caps. Maybe that's a bit later. I don't handle buying and selling for the gun runners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. None whatsoever. Everything inside the fence is off limits, and the guards have strict orders to shoot to kill. A lot of our high-end weaponry comes from pre-war military schematics. If our competition got a hold of them, it'd be bad for business. 
Later. Yeah, my it is impressive just how much simply removing the orange tint from this game helps make it look just phenomenally better. But yeah, like I mentioned before, uh, I'm using clarity, which makes everything so vibrant. Like, you wouldn't think simply getting rid of the orange would make it look more vibrant. But it does, and it does a phenomenal job. I see... No. Thought I saw... Some kind of, uh, fiend over that way. Yeah, it's like a new game. My god. So much prettier. I don't know why they put the orange blur over everything in the first place. And we are nearly here. Welcome to... Once it pops up. The New Vegas Medical Clinic. Which, uh... There is one reason that I came here. And one reason only. They can give you implants! Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities, make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. So yeah, the implants are quite nice because... One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? So yeah, each of these will give you one more point to your, um, to your special stat. So, uh, greater strength. I implant the hypertrophy accelerator for 4,000 caps. It will boost your adrenal glands and quickly increase your muscle mass. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. Morning. 4,000 caps. You're back. Do you need medical attention? All right. Let me do a quick test to make sure your body can handle another implant. All right. You're healthy enough to handle another one. Which surgery are you considering? More perceptive. The optic cancer, as the name suggests, gets attached directly to your optic nerve. The price is 4,000 caps. Have a... Do another quick spin. You're back. Uh, endurance. That might be a good the idea. Reception regulator. We. I did too much of a spin. Okay, hold on, let me just check. Okay, so agility and luck, and then maybe charisma. You're back. Agility. I'm just gonna skip all the dialogue because I don't need to hear about how oh the implant will raise your agility by one point. You're back. If I look here. Yay. Yeah, the last two implants give you a damage threshold bonus and a slight self-heal bonus. Uh, so I don't care about either of them. And I don't believe there's a way to get those caps back. Can't, can't steal them off of her. None of these guys are holding them. But now our special stats are a little better. And as a result, our skills have probably gone up, at least. Uh, what would have gone up? Melee weapons would have gone up. Unarmed would have gone up. Everything would have gone up a little bit, possibly because of the luck increase, but I don't think it's... Actually, no, it wouldn't have, because it's six, not seven. Anyway, uh, what else was I going to do here? Something. I think I just steal stuff. That was about it. 
got guards that make it so that it's hard to steal stuff. Dang you. Dang you for employing staff so as to make sure that I can't commit crimes against you. Oh, food, give me that. Get out of my... What am I... What is happening? Where? Sweet mother of God. I want these books. I have an idea on how I can crack open the uh, cash register. Just gonna be a little finicky is all. Nothing in here worth stealing. Bathroom doesn't have anything. It's stealing to take the plunger? Okay. Now, bone saw. Go. Not the scalpel. Ooh. There's a lot of drugs. Steal those. Steal the surgical tubing. Is there a pack of cigs in there? Hmm. Okay. Now, my idea. Place myself between... Her and the bodyguard. And there we go. What did cast my down to? Is it 8,000? 2,500. Oh my lord. Okay, I'm gonna have to go on a selling spree at some point. I believe these are a couple of fiends over this way. Back the way we came. Think? Maybe? Hello? Um... No. Where these people be? Ah, oh, there we go. Be able to... There we go. And they're down. Lovely. Maybe that'll give me enough caps to, uh... Able to pay off the hunting rifle scope. Although I could always just try and scrounge up enough caps to buy a anti-material rifle. Although I believe I need a hundred gun skill for that, so we won't be using one of those anytime soon. Yeah. All right, so we made it to the loss of the New Vegas Medical Clinic, which was my goal the whole time. So. Now we can head back to Camp McCarran and get a few of those, or a few of the things here done. Now, first thing to do, just meet the many colorful characters that are in this place. Oh yeah, also, while I was gone, I... here we go. Wait, I can set that as like a Thing. Oh, I know. Okay, you can just do that with all of them. Two pilot lights, two pressure cookers, two conductors, two fire hose nozzles, four fission batteries, two steam gate assemblies, two sensor modules, five scrap metal, and one pot. Why do I need pots? That's strange. Okay. I think I remember. Ah, steam gate assembly. There we go. Okay, so steam gauge assembly. Need one more of those. I need some conductors. I think there were a few here that I didn't bother picking up. I'm Lieutenant Gorabetz, First Recon. If you're looking to collect a bounty, you should talk to Major Daughtry. Lieutenant Gorabetz, and I have the whitest lips in the universe. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. Some of my team aren't without their share of scars, though, like Betsy and Sterling. Cook Cook, one of the fiends, ambushed her in ten of spades. They both managed to escape, but not before Cook Cook raped her. Betsy shrugged it off like it was nothing, but her behavior keeps getting worse. Always making passes at every woman who wanders by. It's inappropriate for anyone at first recon to behave that way. I could discipline her, but I'd rather she get medical help. I'd appreciate it. As her CO, I could order her to get help, but I'd have her agree with the idea. Corporal Sterling was an NCR ranger until he was captured by the Legion. They tortured him pretty badly. 
Wasn't able to be a ranger after that, but his eyes are still sharp, so I had him transferred to first re- 